Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all my wonderful Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Monday to you, 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 and you. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic Monday. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, Scorpios. Yes. All right, Scorpios, we're going to get into this general reading. These are the Life Series Tarot deck by Chris and these cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. We're moving towards a full moon, your ruling planet. At least one of them is retrograde right now. Pluto, encouraging you to declutter, 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 declutter. Declutter is also, declutter. part of the decluttering is decluttering fear. Yeah. Moving from living fearfully to living joyfully. You know, I know a lot of people have had some traumas in their lives, but this is moving forward towards a joyful, cheerful higher vibrational existence yes let's get into it most high god in the universe please give me a special reading for my wonderful scorpios as it relates to every area of their lives specifically in areas of power and intellect money and wealth creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action what information do we have from our wonderful scorpios scorpios we have pluto we have mercury we have um jupiter um, did I miss anybody? Saturn. We have four planets that's retrograde right now. So a lot of encouragement there with these planets being retrograde right now. So let's lay these cards out and see what these cards have to say. Yes, you want to ascend higher and you want to surround yourself with people who are on a higher frequency. I mean, really, really on a higher frequency. Here we have the judgment card, right? You want to ascend higher and that's what's happening with you all. A lot of you all are ascending higher. You are decluttering, removing any negative feelings about people out of your space. You're replacing them with higher vibrational, more of like, you know, um, um, surrounding yourself with people who are on a higher frequency. Then we have the three of pentacles, right? And so this takes a lot of courage to ascend higher because when you ascend higher, Scorpio, you know you're going to lose a couple of people around you. You could lose family members that don't understand your ascension. You could use, lose friends. You could lose colleagues. People who are used to you being on at their level, their frequency. But I see your money getting better in the workplace for you. I see perfect synergy for you in the workplace. I'm also seeing um, you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money too. I also see you sleeping better. Yes, I see you sleeping better. I see you being more in harmony with yourself, right? This is your divine masculine to your divine feminine or the little boy or the little girl inside of you. You're really, really doing the work to declutter internally. And so I see peace and I see this happening for you fast. Boom. This is going to be a quick reading for you because this is all good news for you. All because you decided, I'm going to go ahead and ascend higher. I'm going to ascend higher because I need to see things for what they really, really are. I need to see the spirits around me. I don't have anything negative to say about anybody. I'm ascending higher. I need to see really deep into, like see it from their point of view. You all are already very focused, brave, very loyal, faithful, ambitious, resourceful, passionate, true friends, right? Gods and goddesses. Your symbol is the scorpion, right? So you're not necessarily focused on lashing back out at people like scorpions do. They're very, very small, but their sting is deadly, right? And so you're not balanced. You're not focusing on stinging people and hurting people or anything like that. You're not focusing on vibrating low. You are removing everything from around you and even within you. Again, the decluttering part, right? And so I want you to be patient with this process with yourself. Because like I said, some people are going to leave your space. They're going to leave your energy space because they um, didn't understand the intensity there. But now your energy is more balanced out and you're seeing things at a higher frequency. Now you're channeling that intensity towards your work. You're channeling it to other things that's going to, what garner you more money and more appreciation for what you bring into this universe. So this is where you're going to release. You're releasing all fear within yourself. You're releasing all doubt. You're handling all of the, um, maybe some childhood traumas that you've experienced in your life. Like really just being real with yourselves, you know, in that area. And like I said, Mercury is retrograde too. It's retrograde until tomorrow. Today is the 21st. 
it goes it goes uh mercury goes station direct tomorrow evening and so that's the planet of communication so communication will seem like things have gotten easier why because you've ascended you've made the choice so none of this is by coincidence right so communication like i say will seem like it's getting a little easier saturn is the planet of ambition right um the planet of ambition actually encourages each and every one of us it rules achievement, career, wealth, business. So you're considering your long-term goals. What do I want to do? Like you're shifting your energy, that intensity, away from maybe some childhood traumas or some past relationships that didn't work out or some other stuff. You're completely shifting your energy um, in the right place. You're focusing on you know, self-discipline. And this is, again, Saturn, right? Um, Jupiter is also retrograde. Jupiter, is, and by the way, Saturn is retrograde until October 10th. Um, and then we have Jupiter that's retrograde. Jupiter is the planet of ethics. It actually rules philosophy, luck, good fortune. So this is a great time for you to evaluate any unfinished business. You want to um, travel to a place that you maybe have been before, you know, like reconnecting. Um, you want to a completed task that you started a long time ago. You want to also slow down and just write, like just kind of consider the steps that you need to complete um, to get the whole job done. Again, you're shifting that focus, that intensity to something that serves your highest purpose. And of course, like I said before, your ruling planet or one of them, Mars is your other one, is uh, is uh, encouraging you to declutter, remove any harsh feelings that you may have about a situation, a person, a thing, or whatever. You want to remove all of that. Again, you are shifting. This is nice. Ascension is great. I'm telling you, Ascension feels really, really good um, because, well, it, it feels good for some people, especially when you're ready, but for some people, what comes along with Ascension, what a lot of people don't understand is the re some relationships fall out of range. They just do. Right. I'm looking at multiple streams of income for you, which is nice. At least eight streams of income for you, which is very, very nice. Right. Um, I'm also seeing some of you all celebrating outside of a house. Right. So if some of you all are refinancing your house, buying a new house, um, buying a building or something. But I see you celebrating outside of one and I see things happening for you quickly. I see you receiving more money. Some of you all will be receiving a raise at work. I see because you have sat down somewhere and you really got to a God level of clarity. This is when you really, really not only change your perspective, but also see things from a compassionate standpoint. Like really just say, okay, well, maybe that relationship didn't work out because there was something else going on that I may not be aware of. And I'm protecting, not like you're protecting other people's energy, but you're not saying anything negative or bad about anybody. You're just like really, just really just coming towards this full moon. Well, knowing that you're coming towards this full moon, releasing any kind of negative thoughts or energy. So again, you have to sit down and, you know, get to that God level of clarity, which is great. I see a lot of you all, this is more money. I see a lot of you all traveling, you know, um, and just living your best lives. And I also see that you all may have been around some very manipulative energy, right? That could have threatened to suck the life out of you, to suck the air out of you, right? But that was exposed. It was exposed. So again, like I said, you all are headed to, you're headed in the right direction. That's one I want to just confirm for a lot of you. You're heading in the right direction by continuing to ascend, Right. Um, there could have been some people that you were around that had a lot of secrets that they were holding on to. But again, that was exposed. I'm not necessarily personal or third party information, because even if it was exposed, hey, you know, it is what it is. That relationship is over. Time to move on. Don't even use your energy to even focus on what secrets, you know, a person may have been holding on to because you got you got a time. You're going to be focusing on traveling travel plans making your money focusing on new ideas of like how to increase your money the whole nine yards so you know manipulative energies always take care of themselves so you have to decide what am i going to use my time on am i going to focus on that or am i going to focus on you know um living my best life and that's where your focus is right now which is great scorpios yes
what else we have look to the stars yes look to the stars we have eight major moon phases and like i said right now we're in a gibbous moon which is great letting you know that you're heading in the right direction but we're moving towards a full moon which is nice so continue decluttering like continue decluttering your ruling planet or one of them like i said pluto is one of your ruling planets is actually retrograde um it's going to be retrograde until wednesday october the 20 wednesday october the 6th um until that evening so yeah continue decluttering i mean living your absolute best life because the universe wants to as you continue to declutter scorpio the universe wants to release more the majority of the cards i'm looking at for you are money cards so the universe wants to release more and more money to you so that's what's in the cards that's what i have for you scorpios bye